going on YouTube? It's your girl Chantelle Lace coming at you with another video. In today's video, I want to teach you on how to apply for an LLC. So if you want to learn how to apply for an LLC, just stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back you guys. So yes, I'm excited to be doing this video because I have recently launched my own business If you do not know flirty girl lashes, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at flirty girl lashes And also check out my lash products at www.flirtygirllashes.com But yes, I started my own business and it was very beneficial for me to start a business as an LLC instead of a sole proprietor and it has some beneficial reasons for that. One of the beneficial reasons for me is that if I was to ever get sued personally, um, my business assets will not be affected. And if my business was to get sued, um, my personal assets won't get um won't get affected. So I wanted to keep everything separate. And then also for banking purposes, um, and you know business credit purposes it is good to have an LLC so if you like entrepreneur videos because I will be having an entrepreneur series I think this is my fourth or fifth video in the series on my business and just you know not just packaging and shipping and all my inventory but also the behind the scenes business stuff um, business credit if you want to know any of that type of information just go on and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video but yes let's go on and get into this so to apply for an LLC you have to go to your local secretary of state office so depending on what state you're in you go to the secretary of state dot whatever uh state you're in dot gov for me i'm in california so it'll be ca dot gov and you can actually apply for your llc online now i do know there's some states that um are still behind in the times and you would have to print the form out fill it out and actually physically take it up to your secretary of state office or mail it in so the forms to form an LLC, you would need to fill out an articles of organization form. So to fill out an article organization form, like I said, you can go to the website and I'll have the form up above so you guys can see what the form looks like. But basically on this form, all you need is your business name. You need your business address. And for an LLC, they prefer, they prefer it not to be your home and they prefer it not to be a P.O. box. So if you do not, if you're working outside of your home, I suggest you research on getting a virtual office or anything of that nature. If you do not know what a virtual office is, just let me know in the comment section and I can do a video on some virtual offices. So next, after that, you would need a registered agent or a service or a service agent. So a registered agent or a service agent, it's the same thing, but um, it... You know depending on what state you're in depends on what terminology they use but basically a registered agent or service agent is somebody that can be served on your behalf so meaning if they're not able to deliver the mail like if you have some mail that's really really you know um really really personal or hot or, or like highly confidential you don't want it to go to your business and other people handling it or going you know somewhere else you want it to go either directly to you or to a service agent that could sign for it so you can hire a third-party company and you can pay them to take mail on your behalf or you can be your own service agent and just use your own home address that's what I did I'm my own service agent I use my home address so all my important business paperwork comes to my home address but all of my inventory all of my other stuff for my business goes to my business address so once you fill this form out there is a cost for this form in each state the cost will be different here in california it was 70 dollars to file the articles of organization um and it's a really simple form as you can see just fill that stuff out pay the fee boom you, it tells you to wait seven to ten business days for it to be processed um but mine took two days so if you opt for the option for it to be emailed to you a certificate to be emailed to you then you'll get it within a couple days i got mine in two so yes so next up there the next step in filing a 
LLC, you will need a do a statement of information with your state of secretary of state. So that is the next form that you would need to do. This form costs $20 and you would need to do this within 90 days of your LLC being registered. So once you get that uh, certificate that your L your articles of organization has been filed and accepted with the secretary of state, on that form, you will have a secretary of state on that form, you will have a Secretary of State file number. You would need this number to fill out the Statement of Information. And the Statement of Information is the exact same information as your Articles of Organization, your business name, your address, and your service agent or registered agent. And then your uh, Secretary of State file number. Fill this out, pay the $20, and you have 90 days to do it from once you got your registration back so say that your 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 business was formed june 1st you have 90 days from june 1st to file your um your statement of information and pay the 20 dollars fee if you do not file this there will be penalty fees and come on now we all know penalty fees they jack them up so just go on and pay the 20 dollars then after that this statement of information is not going to be due until every two years you will update this or you know you'll fill it out and say everything's the same and pay your twenty dollars every two years so in california there is another step to form your llc is the franchise llc tax and it is the franchise llc annual tax so if you're in california form an llc you have to pay this annual tax every year whether your company made a dollar uh, made zero dollars or made two million dollars you have to pay the annual franchise annual llc tax which is eight hundred dollars it's a flat rate depending on if you go over a certain threshold like if you make a certain amount of income then they start adding more or whatnot but for the most part it's eight hundred dollars starting out so if you formed your llc on june 1st you have four months from June 1st to pay your $800. If you do not pay your $800, there will be penalty fees and you can likely get your LLC like terminated. So you don't want to do that. Just go on and pay that. And then after the 90 days, this franchise LLC, the franchise L annual LLC tax will not be due until um, every April, every year by April 14th. You will have to pay the $800. So that's just the FYI, depending on your budget and what your pockets are looking like or where you see your business going, may an LSD may be good for you or may not. I mean, depending on where you live. I know not every state has the extra franchise LLC tax. So if your state doesn't have it, hey, form your LLC, you're good. If your state does have it, I'll suggest to look at your budget and really budget and plan if that's what you really want to do. Um, for me, that's something I really wanted to do because um, I am looking into business credit and certain things of that nature and business credit is separate from your personal credit to a certain standpoint. So you need to have your own business account, you need to have your EIN, you need to have your organization form, and that means having your um, articles of organization form and so forth. So these are a lot of things that you want to, you know, look into. Um, I already have five vendors. So that is really, really awesome, meaning that any products that I need, I can contact my vendor, get the products, and I have either 30, 60, or 90 days to pay them back. So it's kind of like fronting me the products, you know what I'm saying? Which is always better, especially when you're starting a business, so that way you're not utilizing all your funds um, to buy all the stuff that you need. If you have a business credit, you can get some business vendors and you can get the stuff that you need and then pay for it after you make the money. So, I mean, that's very beneficial. So if you guys do want a video on business credit and some vendors that you can get with just starting out your business, just let me know.